Minneapolis neighborhood say they're witnessing drug deals and prostitution on vacant land owned by a church. And Fox 9's Bab Santos tells us how a homeless encampment has now engulfed the church's private property. This land is owned by a Minneapolis Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And as we first reported in early May, the property has been overtaken by an encampment. The church said they gave the people 10 days to leave. But now, two months later, neighbors say the problem is only getting worse by the day. It's so much worse. Across the street from the camp, Scott Johnson is president of Hiawatha Metalcraft. We've seen uh, drug use. We've seen uh, sex acts. We've seen fires. Rescue squads coming with guys with the needles in their arms. We saw a woman attacked by two other guys. There's been damage to property. There are people that are, you know, urinating everywhere. There are needles everywhere. After 12 years on the block, I feel like the city's just given up on it. Neighbors Bronwyn and Michael no longer feel at home inside of their own home. If you didn't see what was around it, you would think this was a refugee camp. With a school, you know, 800 feet to the south here, uh, we're we were fearful for the kids as they were ending their school time. Bronwyn is a social worker who spends her days housing people experiencing homelessness. It's so stressful that I have to go come home and I'm dealing with it in my backyard. It's also not safe for the campers and it's not healthy for people at the encampment too. Minneapolis City Council Member Cam Gordon is in charge of this part of the city. The city has done things to help get trash cleaned up, provide a bathroom, there's a washing station over there. It's visited regularly by uh, city outreach workers. We're trying to get um, options available. This idea that it's compassionate to have people in a field in, in the United States of America j j just boggles the mind. After several community meetings, a plan is in the works to close the camp. But on all sides, neighbors want to know when. My priority is that when the closure happens, there's plenty of warning and that it's compassionate and that it's peaceful and nobody is hurt. Bab Santos, Fox 9.